A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains. Astride his great horse Silver, he rode through the new territory in the cause of justice. No man was ever known to beat him to the draw, and no man could match his courage and resourcefulness. And now return with us to thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Roaring Gap! Red Barber's been seen there! Hi, old Silver! Away! As our story opens, Sheriff Hawkins is tacking a notice on the wall of the cafe in Roaring Gap. The men of the town crowd around him. What's it say? Is it a reward notice? Wanted, dead or alive, Red Barber. Red Barber, eh? One thousand dollars for him. A thousand dollars? That's a big reward. It's worth every dime of it to get Red Barber. Who is he, Sheriff? What's he done? Ask me what he ain't done, and I can tell you quicker. Horse stealing, murder, stage robbing, rustling, swindling, kidnapping. There ain't a crime in the book he ain't been accused of. Land sakes. He's a two gun man and pies and fast with either hand. He ain't afeard of man or beast. And he can lick his weight in wildcats. Ain't he got no partner, Sheriff? Nary a one. He plays a lone wolf game, that hombre does. Where was he seen last, Sheriff? Clem Purdy claims he's seen him over to Calabash. And Luke Sewell thinks he's the one that busted open the safe in the express office over to Big Ben. Safe buster, too, eh? I told you there ain't nothing he won't turn his hand to. I can't figure what he does with all he steals. Maybe he don't do nothing with it. What do you mean? Well, maybe he's one of these fellows that steals for the love of stealing. And for being known as the worst dombry in the state. Worst in the state, my eye. He's the worst in the whole doggone world, including India. Ah, here comes that old tightwad, Eben Lawler. Sheriff! Sheriff! What's on your mind, Ebenezer? What's all this here I hear about Red Barber being around these parts? Well, what'd you hear? Ebby Wattsworth come into my store tonight just as I was closing shop. And she tells me about you making mention of Red Barber. Well, we ain't sure he's around here. A reward notice about him just come in, that's all. <laughs> Happy she got the idea it was Red Barber himself come on the stage. There was some mysterious acting stranger on it. Happy Wadsworth never did get things straight. But this here stranger. I seen the stranger come into town myself. There was nothing mysterious about him, nothing at all. He talks like an Easterner and don't have much to say. And he ain't been seen around here before. But that don't make him mysterious, and it don't make him Red Barber, not by a darn sight. I, I just hope Barber don't get the idea of robbing my store. If he'd heard about it, he might try and rob it. It'll serve you right if he did, you stingy old weasel. <laughs> what do you mean, speaking to me like that? Ebony's a lawyer. You're, you're the stingiest coyote I ever known. I ain't got a right to be, ain't I? I ain't kissing her kin in the world to take care of me after I'm old and feeble. And I gotta lay aside my money to keep me in my old age. Well, you're doing that same right enough. Half starving your clerk, Billy Lampson, to do it. I pay Lampson for what he does. How much? That's my business and his. Sure, sure it is. 
And it's my business what I think of you. Now get out of here and leave us be. All right. But if I'm robbed, Sheriff, I'll remember what you said. Yes. <laughs> Good for you, Sheriff. Uh, give the blamed coyote just what he deserves. He's had it coming to him right now. He sure did. Now, boys, here's the reward notice. And there's the description of Red Barber. Them of you can't read it and get someone else to read it for you. Fetch him in, dead or alive. And I'll see you get your share of the reward money. May I have a look at that picture? Oh, sure. Sure thing, stranger. Step right up. Thank you. Say, ain't you the fellow that arrived on the afternoon stage? Yes, I am. And you're the fellow Ebenezer was all head up about. Mysterious acting. <laughs> Do you see anything mysterious about me? Shucks, no. Hmm. Red Barbara. Yep. Aim to stay around town, stranger? Perhaps for a time. Well, you will find this a downright congenial town, and one that's easy to get along in, till you bust the law. I don't mind no celebrations on Saturday, and I don't mind if the boys sling guns in the air once in a while. But just don't you steal, don't try to hurt no one, don't cheat at cards, and don't be a four-flusher, and you'll get along all right. Thank you, Sheriff. That's good advice. Hey, Sheriff, you were speaking of Bill Lamson that works for Ebenezer Lawler. Yeah. Ain't Bill got an ailing wife? That's what he has. Poor gal's downright sick. And needing doctor in bed. Should get taken to the coast where she can get some real doctors. Well, I was thinking maybe we ought to do something for L Lamson. He's darn hard working and awful young. Ain't more than 20 or thereabouts. So blame starved, you don't look more than 18. Ain't no wonder the way that ornery coyote Ebenezer keeps him working from sun up to late at night for hardly enough to buy victual. That's so. Mark my words, boys. Billy's going to rebel some one of these days. That's what he's going to do. Mm, how do you mean, Sheriff? No man can stand seeing his wife ailing so and not having the cash to do nothing about it. Well, I'd help him if I could. Look, Sheriff, maybe between us we could get the money scraped up. No, and then we should... it wouldn't do. Why not? I know that, boy. Trouble with Lamson is he's too blame proud. He wouldn't take our help. That's right. I'd try to make him borrow some cash for me. He wouldn't take a dime. Only thing we can do is to try and make old Ebenezer pay him more. Now, if we could only shame the old polecat into doing it, why... <laughs> Fat chance of that. Hey, where's that stranger? I huh? wanted to talk to him. He just went outside. Oh, drat it, and I didn't even get his name. Now, though, I hope to learn more about Red Barber. What you find out? Nothing just yet. The reward notice is posted. Notice got bullet hole? Well, Tonto, those other reward notices he shot full of holes show he's not far from here, though. Um, that's right. I learned of something else in the cafe, Tonto. What that? It's about a man who needs help. Come on. We're going to a small cottage over yonder to see a fellow by the name of Lamson. His wife isn't well. What matter? He's struggling hard to support his wife. I want to see what he's like. We'll lead our horses. He doesn't live far. What we do for him? I don't know yet, Hunter. But if he's all I heard he is, I want to find a way to help him. We'll have a look inside his home. <coughs> there now, honey. Try to stop <coughs> coughing. Billy, it's, it's all this, this coughing. <coughs> Here, take a drink of water, Nancy. <coughs> drink it, honey. It might help you some. <coughs> I guess I'm past that coughing spell now. How was you today while I was working? Well, I, I wasn't bad, Billy, honest. I, I didn't cough much. Oh, Billy, I wish there wasn't such a hindrance to you. Don't say that, Nancy. You ain't no trouble to me, honey. You're all I got in the world. Oh, you have to work so hard and do all the cooking and cleaning to boot and doctor me, and, and I just lie here. I can't help a bit. Well, if only I could get well. You'll get well soon, Nancy. You will. Don't try to tell me that, Billy. I know better. Please don't try to lie to me that way. I know the truth now. I heard what the doctor told you. Oh, Nancy. He told you that I wouldn't live six months less than I got away from here. And he said you ought to send me to the coast to a good doctor he gave you the name of. But, honey, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Billy. I can't let you die. You know that. You're going to the coast, and what's more, you're going on the morning stage. Oh, Billy, please, dear, don't say things like that. I know you can't do it. It's not possible. You don't have to lie to me. But I got it arranged. It's all arranged, Nan, and I'm going with you. The stage comes through at daybreak, and you and me will be on it. Oh, Billy, you're, you're serious. Of course I am. But how can we do it? If it's cash you're worrying about. You know it is. You ain't been able to save a thing out in what Mr. Lawler pays you. Maybe not, but I got the cash. Oh, Billy. I have. $500 cash money. I got it all. 
But where'd you get it? Now, don't you worry your head about that, honey. You just remember you ain't to worry about nothing at all. I got the money and we're leaving in the morning for the coast. No, we ain't, Billy. What do you mean? You got that money one of two ways, Billy. Either borrowed it or... Or you stole it. I borrowed it. But you ain't to mind that, honey. Just remember you're going to get well. Billy, if you borrowed the money without no way of paying it back, it's the same as stealing. But, honey... It's mortgaging your life for mine, Billy, and I ain't going to let you do it. But, Nancy... I'd sooner lose my life than, than to have it saved by stolen money. Nancy, honey, you got to think of me, too. You're everything in the world to me. As long as I have you, I... I got something to keep me going. But if... If I was to lose you, I reckon I'd die my own self. <coughs> Here, here, drink this water. Oh, Lord, I wish there was something I could do for you. You here? Yes, let's get away from the window. Here. Hello, we must find a way to help that young couple. Come on, Silver. There must be something that can be done to help mm, That girl, plenty sick. The doctor's right. She can't live long in this climate. The fellas say him got money. Yes, Tonto. I wonder... You think maybe him robbed Storm? I'm afraid so, Tonto. His love for his wife may have forced him to steal. What we do now? I want to think. There must be some way. We look for Red Barber now? No, Tonto. We'll abandon the hunt for him for a while and see if anything... Tonto! Uh, look, yonder. A horseman. He was on the other side of the cottage. What him there for? It's too dark to tell. He must have heard what we did. We'll follow him. He might turn Lamson over to the law. Come on, Tonto. Get him up. Get him. I'll see you. The Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the rider, but the night was dark, and when they lost his trail, it was impossible to pick it up again. It's no use, Tonto. He's gotten away from us. We spent enough time hunting for him. Him got plenty fast horse. You must know the trails around here mighty well, too. Maybe we find track when daylight comes. It's our only chance of locating him, and that's a slim chance. This hard ground isn't likely to show tracks. Wait. Hold, Scott. Oh, 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 Silver. Oh. You here? A horse. Maybe that him. If it is, he's coming back. That horse is heading this way. That's right. Wait. What is it, Tonto? That same horse. There it come. Now you see? Yes, and the girl's in the saddle uh, now. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Get away from Wait, I want to speak to you. Let go of that oh, oh, that's over. Oh, Silver, Just a minute, please. Hold that. Oh. Don't be afraid, young lady. I'm not going to rob you. Just let me ask you a couple of questions. No, no, I can't. I can't talk to nobody. That was part of my bargain. I, I'll lose this horse if I talk to anyone. We want to speak to you about the horse. No, no, let me go. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to no one. I promised the fellow that give me this horse. I can't speak to nobody. I... Where is that fellow now? I, I don't know. Don't be afraid of my mask. I want to find the man who gave you that horse. And I want you to tell me why he gave it to you. He, he just said he wouldn't be needing it no more after tonight. That's strange. Mm, it's plenty strange. What's that paper in your hand? Well, that's just... It looks to me like one of the notices telling of the reward for the capture Red Barber. Uh, yeah. There's something written on the back of it. Oh, please, stranger. He, the fellow that, the fellow that gave me this and told me to take it to the sheriff and keep this horse for my own, he said if I got to the sheriff before 10 o'clock, he'd make me sorry for it. Do you know what this says? No, mister, I, I can't read. That man just scrawled it on there with a hunk of pencil and told me to get it to the sheriff, but not before 10 o'clock. Very well. You may take it to him, but first we'll see what it says. <laughs> Before the next act of our Lone Ranger drama, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After he had read the strange message written by the man who had disappeared into the night, the Lone Ranger sent the girl to town where she delivered the note to the sheriff at the cafe. Hey, fellas. Listen here. Quiet down, won't you? I got some important information. What you got, Sheriff? What's in that there paper, Sheriff? Listen, you mavericks. We got to get some riding and action aplenty before this year night's over. What's it all about? Let us in on it, Sheriff. My gun's unlimited right now. When do we start? Sure, yeah. mine too. I'm gonna try. Calm down. Calm down. Boys, I learned us how Red Barber's right here in town. Red, Red, Red Barber? Barber. Right here in town. He's here. And I know where to capture that coyote. Count me in on it. I'm with you. Let's straddle horses and get going. Sure. Now, first off, where's that girl gone? Please, Mr. Sheriff, I didn't do nothing. Didn't say you did. What was said to you when you was given this year paper? I, I was told to fetch it to you, but not before 10 o'clock. It ain't 10 yet. It, it ain't. It's only half past nine, girl. How come you showed up with it before you were supposed to? I, I can't tell time, Sheriff. I... Boys, we can catch Red Barber as he robs Ebenezer Lawler's store. He's aiming to rob it, and we'll get him red-handed. Come on, let's get to moving. All right, boys. Let's go. My horse is outside. We'll get the reward. We'll all get some of it. Can't take chances with Red Barber. Shoot him on sight. $1,000 reward. Remember, boys, get him dead or alive. We'll get us, boys. Dead or alive. We'll get dead. Get up there. and Tonto had already arrived at Lawler's store. They opened the door softly and found Red Barber crouching before the safe. Take it easy, Barber. You're covered. You. Steady. You got gun on you. Who are you? How'd you know I was here? We met the girl you gave that note to. Yeah, first time in my life I ever done anything worthwhile and it's got to be spoiled. Why did you send that message to the sheriff? It ain't any of your business. You lawmen are... We're not lawmen. Just my luck. I suppose you'll come here to clean out this safe yourself, then. We came here to see you. You ain't lawman, then? No. Now, look. There ain't nothing in this safe at all. You can come and see for yourself. Where did you put the money? That's for you or the law to find out, savvy? Wasn't the safe already robbed when you came here? Go on, you try to find out. I ain't got nothing to say. You wanted the sheriff to come here and catch you, didn't you? No, I don't hanker to swing by the neck. That's what you'll do if you're caught. Don't I know that? You wanted the sheriff to come here, find that safe was empty, and blame you for the robbery. All right, if you know so much, there ain't nothing for me to say. Why did you do it, Wren? Can't a man do one decent thing before I get strung up? Look here, mister. You got my hands down, I admit that. You'll get the reward for capturing me, a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. But will you do me one favor? What do you want me to do? Uh, I'm done for. I can savvy that. But I want to be the one that's blamed for robbing this safe. You heard what was said in Bill Lampson's home, didn't you? How'd you know? I heard it, too. You, you did? Yes. All right, then. Look here, stranger. You talk like a good hombre. You know how bad Bill Lampson needs that cash. You know what it'll mean to him. Yes, I do, Red. You know Ebenezer Lawler don't need it. He's got more money now that he can never spend. Perhaps he has. Then help me fix it so Bill Lampson can have the cash. It'll mean his wife can be saved. I'm willing to take the blame for it. I'm willing to hang for it if need be. Though I didn't figure on that. Lawman, come. They're coming now. It isn't 10 o'clock yet. They're coming too soon. Ah, oh, but it don't matter. You got me anyhow. Ain't a chance for me to get away. Cotto, bring up the horses. Uh, what are you going to do? You want to help Bill Lampson, Red? I sure enough do. We'll both help him. We'll see that he doesn't use stolen money to save his wife's life. But there ain't no way. There is a way. Sheriff, men, plenty close. What are you going to do? Come on, you can ride my horse with me. Where we go? You stay with us. Yep. Uh, come on, Barbara, get aboard my horse. Uh, I don't know who you are, stranger, but I'm trusting you. Well, get him up, take out. Come on, 
Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Come on now. There they are. Come on. Open up on him. Come on, fellas. We'll get him. Where was your sheriff? Come on. Get up. There they go, boys. Come on. They're heading away from Ebenezer's place. Drill him. Shoot him. Come on. Don't let him get away. One of them three is Red Parker. Never mind wasting your bullets. Just keep them in sight. They're traveling fast. They're getting further away all the time. Keep after them. You can't hit them at this distance. Come on. Just keep them in sight as long as you can. That white horse is easy to see. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Ranger, Red Barber, and Tonto reached Lamson's house far ahead of the sheriff's posse. Oh, 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 oh. Good Lord, what's Where's the money you stole, Bill Lamson? I don't know what. Well, it's true, then, Miss Ketcher. Speak up, you. Where is it? I, it's right here. Believe me, mister, he was going to take it back to the store. He's seen he done wrong and taken it. He was just fixing to take it back when you came in. It's the truth, mister. I was going to take it back. You can't take him away. No. No, Nancy, they catch me and I got to go. They won't believe what I say. We believe you. Mast, I didn't know... Shut up. We ain't the time to waste and talk. Do you know me? No, I don't. I'm Red Barber. And I'll take that cash. And remember, I'm the one stole it. Listen, Bill. There's a thousand dollars reward money for me. And you're the one captured me. I don't say it. Go on, stranger. You get out in here. Get out while you can. And thanks for letting me leave this world with one good thing to my credit. They're coming for you, Red. Then you get out, pronto. There ain't no reason for you to get catched. Billy, I don't savvy this at all. What's it all Listen, about? Listen, kid. You need cash bad. Mighty bad. Come on, Billy. You're getting $1,000 reward for me. And it'll all be yours. You mean trade your life for $1,000? Yeah. And remember this, kid. You wouldn't have got the chance to do it if I hadn't stolen and done most everything else a man can do that's bad. Bill, he, he's... But listen, mister, I can't... Shut up and listen. There's one thing you can't do. You've come mighty close to stealing. You see where it fetched me? Well, don't do it. Here, quick. Take this gun and hold it on me. I'll keep this one. Yeah, but I don't... Never savvy. mind trying to savvy anything. Keep back again the wall there. You got your cuffs in there, Barbara. Come out with your hands up. You won't get me alive. Come out, or we'll come after you. Come on, then. Back out in the line of fire now. But please, mister, we... Quiet now. Come on, if you think you're man enough. But I warn you, Sheriff, you better come in shooting. This is your last chance, Barbara. You won't leave that house alive if you don't surrender. <laughs> come on, try to get me. Right, you can't get me. I'll show you. I still got one gun left. I... <laughs> Good shooting, boys. I... Sheriff, you don't... Got me. Yes, we got you at last, Red. Pick him up, boys, to tote him outside. Sorry, Lamson. We're doing this in your place. We figured he'd hide out here, the coyote. He was fixing to drill us if we hadn't. Yeah, but you don't know. Boys, understand. here's the money he stole right here on the floor. Yeah, right here, show him Get him outside, boys. I got him. Come on, Red. Come on. Sorry, Lamson. We won't bother you no more. I'll be right glad to see you get that reward. For what, you ornery killer? <laughs> I, I won't swing, Sheriff. Not me. I'm cashing in my checks fast. I, I want to talk. Put him down, boys. <clears throat> Sheriff, look, look at the gun I, I pointed at you. Hey? T take a look. Why? There ain't no cartridges in it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to kill no more folks, uh, but I wanted you to shoot me so so as I couldn't swing. Mm. How come you give up shooting so sudden? Sheriff, is is Lamson going to get the reward? Yes, Red. Reckon he is. Look, Sheriff, he. He needs it. There ain't no doubt about that. It's a slick chance for us to force cash on him, in spite of his pride. It sure is. There's so many of us, uh, it wouldn't be hardly nothing if it was divided between us. You're right, sir. Te tell me, Sheriff, that that you'll see Lamson get the reward. All right. 
I will. I'll see that he gets it. Sheriff, he... He don't know me. I, I don't reckon he'd ever seen me. Don't... Don't never tell him that his... That his... Paul was a... Crook. I get it. Barber, you lived by the gun, but you're dying like a man. Now answer me one thing. It, yeah? Who was the fellas with you at that store? <laughs> answer me, Red. Who was he? What's he look like? He, he was a, a... a short, fat, Come on, Silver! We're heading for Long Arrow Village. Sal is waiting for us there. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>